That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Live from the USA, getting you paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy, BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Today is July 27th, Bitcoin 20. $2,675. Looking strong today. Looking strong. Uh, this is your boy BK. I do these videos every single day. I have an amazing uh, chart analysis for you, that which we're going to uh, predict the future of Bitcoin. Um, but before we do that, you know, every day on my channel, somebody got to get paid. And since you're looking at, you, you, you're rocking with the best right now, since you're sitting down with a boss, the question of the day was what is your favorite Rick Ross song? You know, Rick Ross, the boss of the records, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the boss of Bitcoin. So, you know, I wanted to see how my people was feeling about that. So I said, what's your favorite Rick Ross song? You know, and let's pick one of them. What we got, what we got, what we got. This is all you gotta do. All you gotta do is get here early. I'm gonna throw a question out there, jump in the chat and tell me what you think. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Let's go with 77 South. Dave, my man said, hustling, hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. You know what I'm saying? That was my brother's favorite song, Rick Ross 305, M.I.A. Yo, shout out to Dave with the hustling. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't tell me if it was the hustle original or if it was the hustling remix with Jay-Z, you know, because that was a banger too. So this is all we do, guys. This is what we do. My my man Dave won, right? So what I do right now, I took a screenshot of his name. I'm going into the number one Bitcoin group in the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down to uh, the live post for the video right there. Bam. Where is that? Where is that? Here we go. 10 minutes right here. Everybody reposting this thing is throwing me off. Where is my post at? I just throw it on one of these things. I just make a new post. My man, 77 South Dave. Must be from Cleveland. 77 South. Here we go. And that's it. Just that easy. You know, that could be you. So all you got to do, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on. I jump on the air seven days a week. Every hour of the day might be some time that, that I jump on. So my man Dave, just like my man Dave, your boy go be hustling too to read these charts and get this money. So without further ado, let's keep it moving uh, to, to this video. No matter where you at, no matter what job you got, no matter what country you in, no matter what check you getting from somebody else, it's always a signature on the bottom of that check whenever you go to cash it. You know why? Because somebody's got to be the boss. And let me tell you a secret. If you're just now tuning in, if this is your first time joining us, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. I am BK, the boss of Bitcoin. And I tell you what, I got a prediction for y'all. That's go rock your world, you know. So this is more or less my presidential state of the union. You see your boy G'd up from the feet up right there. You know what I'm saying? With the Windsor tie, red, white, and blue. You know what I'm saying? For, for the pride of America. You know, I put it on my back. I don't even mind, right? So this is what we're talking about today. This is what we're talking about. Why am I talking so crazy? Why am I, you know, feeling so vibrant? Because your boy just spent about two and a half hours looking at a chart I did back in June that's still holding strong four weeks later. I did this chart back in June. If you follow me on Trading View, you would have saw this chart. Uh, almost 2,000 people saw this chart, right? So this is a chart I pulled up from back in the day. You know, I said, hold on. I said, people people talk about, you know, some of these YouTube people can't make no charts. They can't predict the future. I said, let me look at my chart from like a month ago and see how I did. You know, so that's exactly what I did. I went back into it. Um, and here we are. Here we are. So I'm about to walk you through this chart. Uh, the continuation of this chart. This is Bitcoin USD. Um, you know, this will be probably one of the last times I look at this chart for about a week because it's just going to be so crazy with BCC. I got a lot of other stuff I got to talk about. So this will be the last Bitcoin chart you get from me, but it's going to be good enough to take you through the middle of August and you'll see why in a second. Um, 
So this is what we do. First things first. Uh, is this is tradingview.com. If this is your first time tuning in, uh, I have a video uh, in the playlist. It's called How to Chart Like a Boss. You watch the first couple episodes of, the, of that playlist, you'll know exactly how to set your chart up just like this. It won't look like mine yet, uh, but you'll be well on your way. Um, I have a, a lot of different trend lines in here, different you know breakdowns, support levels, uh, momentum shifts. Uh, so we're going to walk through that step by step. But you know, if this is your first time tuning in, how to chart like a boss, watch a couple of them videos. We're, we're on tradingview.com. Uh, the moving averages we have, uh, yellow, uh, I'm sorry, green, red, and orange. That's a 721 and a 77 simple day moving averages. That's it. That's all we need. And a minute we're looking at is a 343 minute chart. Let's go. First things first. We see Bitcoin has basically been bam, 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 like a little pinball, like a pinball machine, right? Don't know which way is up. But wait a minute. Just like I showed you back in the day, I said, you know, we're, we're at a global shift right now. Basically, I showed you three or four different ways that Bitcoin was going to go down. You know, and I said that uh, on this day right here, um, I think that was July 8th, July 6th at 8 p.m. I said that was going to be judgment day. Um, this was all in this chart that I that I published back in the day. So that's why for, you know, three or four videos after that, I was saying July 8th, 8 p.m., July 8th, 8 p.m., or I'm sorry, July 6th, 8 p.m., right? And that ended up being the exact moment in time that we broke down. July 6th at 8 p.m. was the exact moment in time that the three broke down under the red and we went into our spiral. So that in itself uh, shows you that this charting method works. It's very accurate. Um, it's not very common. In fact, it's so uncommon. I went and got got a patent on it. So you're officially looking at intellectual property, copy, property rights of Brandon Kelly LLC. Please do not copy, do not distribute without my uh, approved consent, which I won't give you. So if you're a YouTuber, do not use this method or you will be hearing from my lawyer. That being said, first things first, We just drew a couple simple trend lines. First one we drew was this blue one. And this was already in the chart. These blue trend lines were already in the chart. And I think this is just simply a high to high um, breakdown, breakout. And so the blue lines were already there. All I did was I began analyzing this thing and looked to see where we're at now. So back in the day, you know, this is all I knew. Everything more or less over here is all I knew. So what I had to do was I started identifying key areas in the chart. And uh, first thing, I went and I identified a breakdown area. And that's this blue circle right here. When the green crossed the red or crossed that orange right there, I just drew a horizontal, horizontal line and I said, breakdown, bam. Anything that come after that point is go break down. Next thing, I took another line. And this was a bounce line. This is a uh, tricky. And I, I got this from a few different moving averages, from a few different candles. And the 21, it holds a lot stronger. So let's jump down to the 21 so you guys can see. And this is what I'm talking about. When you really break down these charts, you can like go back and forth between the, the, the 343 to 21 and sometimes even the 7 um, to get your best support lines. And so right now we jump down inside the 21. And the orange line, I call my bounce line. And this is why. Because every, th every time something touches it, you know, it tests it and it bounces right back up. It's almost like a trampoline, right? This time it crashed through it, but it came back. And the minute it came back, it tested it again and bounced right back. Same thing right here. Came back, tested it again, and now it's just swinging around it. 
but even still, it's still bouncing on top of it, bouncing on top of it. So I call that my bounce line, right? And that's more or less running through the middle of the channel. It's almost like a uh, a tilting point. When it's above it, it's breaking out. When it's below it, it's breaking down. So it's almost like a, a seesaw, like the, the fulcrum in the middle of a seesaw. And the last thing uh, is a local support line. We could jump back out to the 343 for this. Uh, the local support line is a horizontal line that runs towards the bottom of your chart. It's more recent, um, but it'll it'll tell you when something uh, should happen. So more or less when, um, where did this come from? Right there. It started when the green broke through the orange. So that gave us the initial support line. But you can see over time, you know, it's not very strong, but bam, you know, it held right there. It didn't get to that part, you know, didn't drop down low enough, but if it would have, it still would have held. Right here, it still holds. So that's a local support line. Um, and then down at the bottom, we have what I call my global support line. This is basically anything that touches that green line will go up because essentially it's so much momentum, you know, uh, on top of it that it'll go up. And so those are the four vertical lines we have right there running through this chart. And after that, you know, I just copy and pasted a few trend lines to, to extend them uh, and see. This was a solid, solid uh, channel right here. This blue line, let me make this, let me bring this out a little bit. The blue and the red. And this actually helped me understand Bitcoin a lot when I was drawing this chart. Uh, a month ago. This helped me understand it tremendously. More or less what I saw is that taking the earliest point possible that Bitcoin started consolidating and taking the longest point possible before it broke out, you more or less have a start and a finish, a top and a bottom. And you run it sideways against this whole chart and you can see at certain areas, whenever it touches it, the chart has to respond to it. So bam, bounced off. Right here was a major, major uh, shift. You know, once the green and the red, it almost bubbled over it, but still honored it. And right here, of course, we know once it went through, it broke down. So this is more or less a top and a bottom channel, right? It's a breakdown and breakout channel. So essentially, you see the same thing up here. Once we uh, we went above it a little bit again, I think we were way overextended. I think this is much more of an anomaly than it is any any type of you know real legit indicator on the market. I think it's just an anomaly of oversell panic and way too much emotion. But regardless, we got back in our channel, and the minute we uh, broke down through that red line, we broke down just like over here. Break the red line, break down. Right. So that's a very strong channel indicator that goes all the way back. It's a two two channel indicator um, that goes all the way back. You know, I think we even got another hit on this thing back in March um, on the 343. Actually, yeah, the red the red line. You see, that's our breakdown line. And it's even honoring it all the way back there. You know, and that goes all the way back to. March. Yeah, March 24th. Cool. So you guys can see like this thing is coming together in bits and pieces, but every little piece contributes to the next insight. And what you can see is more or less Bitcoin is centered uh, almost in two points. It's centered at that blue point right there, and it's centered locally in this orange point. This is essentially like a swing point, a pivot point. It's almost like a, an inflection. It's like almost where we stopped our uptrend right um let me jump on my little arrow we had a nice strong three you know two year uptrend three month solid uptrend right and more or less all of that stopped at that yellow at that uh orange line right here and we started trading sideways for a while and that's when i said hey guys we need to be above water because i saw we were below water right? When the green's below the orange like that, we are in the danger zone. We are below water and we need to get above water. So that's when I made my video. I said, hey guys, if we don't 
you know, get above water below this point right here, then we're going to break down. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So you can start to see the logic in this thing. It wasn't just, you know, blind, dumb luck. Like it, I'm literally looking inside the chart to understand things that really nobody else is, is taking the time to look at. Um, going all the way back to the middle of March. And now we're going all the way out to the middle of August. So that's solid six months I have in just a few moments here. It's really amazing. Um, one of the other things I wanted to show you is that the lines we have now, the mo probably the most prominent line is this one right here. This is uh, our new run channel. This is probably the most um, distinguishable line in this entire chart. And all I did to get this line was I took the intersection where uh, Bitcoin broke down at, green below red, right there. I took that intersection, and we'll label it white. And I threw it against the intersection where Bitcoin broke out at. And so now we have more or less a month long trend line that tells us pretty much any information we will need uh, if we know how to look at it. For example, if we copy and paste that line and uh, throw it back, because that's the first thing you do when you make a trend line, you need to test it against the past. So let's do that. We just slide it back a little bit. And right away, if we go to the top of that candle, that extreme point right there, the wick we get the tail, you know, and notice we get the intersection at a few other key places. I'm going to start moving these circles around. That intersection comes at a known support line and our known local support. So it's almost, we're almost like triangulating success, right? Uh, let's do it again. We take it, we copy and paste it. And now we're going to throw it at this breakdown area up here. And watch what happens when we do that. If we take it on that breakdown where the green goes below the orange right there, we get another prominent, prominent bounce. See that? That's no accident. We call out our indicators beforehand and the chart has to honor it. So essentially you can see that Bitcoin is literally telling us the different areas that are built into the chart that are almost like magnets that it has to respond to. That's how I knew that, you know, July 6th, 8 p.m., something's gonna happen and more or less we're gonna go down. That's exactly how, because you take all this information, you, you bring it together um, and you start to figure this thing out piece by piece. And so why do I say that? I say that because we are coming up on another prominent area, actually two prominent areas. The first one we find by throwing this white line up on that highest wick right there, right? And once we do that, we see that Bitcoin is more or less getting pulled into another bounce zone. When that happens, we know a few things. First of all, this is a bounce area. When the green line uh, intersects, whatever is, you know, wherever the chart is in that general area, it's going to go up. It's almost like a, a vortex, right? Uh, same thing right here. If we uh, highlight this area, this is our bounce line. So once Bitcoin comes here, it's going to bounce around just like it did, you know, for the past month right around that area. So what we're going to do, what's going to happen with Bitcoin is we're going to swing in this channel, honor that white line, probably break through, bounce around, and then take off. And notice that the white line and our local support line uh, both intersect August 17th. 
I have no idea what that day means, but it's going to be prominent. In addition to that, our if we triangulate this thing from down here, we copy and paste one of our older blue channels, throw it down here at the bottom of that wick, right? We're able to see that our swing line where it bounces at is August 1st at 8 p.m. And that is not, again, this is not by accident. I put our proven trend line, copy and paste it, drop it to the lowest part of that wick, and just find where it intersects our next recognized line at. And that's where it happens, right there. So what this tells me is that August 1st, which is, you know, uh, the fourth day, 8 p.m., that's going to be another moment of inflection for Bitcoin. But ultimately, we will be seeing a lot of future uh, run out, basically a future run, a, a big, big jump, because we have all these areas running into prominent areas of support in the chart. This is another one. This uh, is, is the strongest one probably of the entire chart. Uh, so I'll make it a little bit bigger. But this is basically this bounce line right here, the blue one, the top blue. Look at that. It more or less had all that momentum on top of it, right? It supported the entire bull run until recently. So we have that line intersecting with our most recent uptrend channel. And that's more or less going to probably pull Bitcoin into all-time highs. But that will not happen until after August 17th. That is how you chart like a boss. Oh. I know that's confusing. I spent about two and a half hours going through it. Um, but if you look at it, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You just have these different zones and channels almost built into the chart. And depending on where Bitcoin is in that zone or in that channel, you know exactly what's coming. And you can start to pinpoint these times. And this zone right here is probably one of the strongest zones we would have had since back here somewhere, you know. Probably, yeah, since right there, because back there, we had almost the exact same formation where we had a long-term uh, long support and a short-term breakout meet each other, and it's like, bam, bam, and that's what you get. So essentially, what I'm saying is more or less, I don't know how accurate, actually, it probably will be very accurate now that I think about it more or less, we're going to get another run that looks something. Look at that. I don't even look at that. Like, it fits perfectly. There is no getting around it. This stuff works. It's amazing, right? Where Bitcoin is reaching north of $4,200. Your boy called five grand, right? I said BTC 5K. Um, I was thinking December, but we go, we go, we go high five 48, uh, 42, 48, right around September. So I'm saying it, I'm, I'm putting it on the table, Bitcoin 4,000 in September. You know, I thought we were going to go down much, much, uh, more than what we did. I don't think we're done yet. Um, we could very easily guys on, you know. We could very easily do something like that, right? Um, either or is still possible at this point. But at the end of the day, we will end up up here because that's that's where the charts have us going. Um, I don't see, and the, the problem with us continuing to go down at this point, um, much lower than, say, this green line right here, 
is uh, I don't see anything in the charts that would push us down that far right now. Um, every channel that we had that was supposed to suppress us, Bitcoin broke out of it with no problem. So now it's really, if we go down, it's just going to be quick, right? Um, it's going to be probably just a couple hours. Um, but more than likely, you know, we'll probably swing around 21, 18, maybe right around there. 2000, we might dip below 2000, but yeah, for sure, for sure. We are looking at four grand in September and I'm the first one to ever show you how to chart it. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. You can see, I tell you, I, I said, you know, I'm, I'll be the first to tell you when it's going up and I'll be the first to tell you when it's going down on, you know, uh, right around here, you know, June, what was it? 14th. I came on here and I said, Hey guys, you know, we're below water. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. And then right around this time I said, well, guess what? If we ain't up by there, we're going to go down. We're going to hit the floor. Boom. A lot of people saved a lot of money just by watching these videos. And now I'm telling you, you know, over the next three weeks, uh, we'll see over, I'm sorry, six weeks, we'll see a huge, huge, huge uptrend. I'm going to leave that one too, because either one is possible. It'll just be interesting to see which one happens first. And I'll probably know, I'll know by this time. So I'll probably make another video after August 1st, and then I'll know which one of these is actually fulfilling itself. So look out for that. But until then, I'm going I'm to follow up with some other stuff. I'm going to do a Bitcoin Cash video. And, you know, and that's more or less what I was going to talk about, too, is uh, this whole fork thing is really. But that's what's making it so unclear, because normally I don't have a problem reading these charts. Normally they aren't this complicated <laughs> at all. Um, this is more or less advanced, advanced, advanced BK charting. Um, it took me about two hours, but I actually understand it now. Um, but it's all because we're creating <laughs> two different, we're literally manifesting another reality out of thin air during this whole time. That's why it's it's so, uh, so difficult to see through it because it's so much energy just materializing in front of our eyes. We don't even know what, we don't even realize it. Um, this thing is $400 right now. Um, everybody that owns, Bitcoin will get their Bitcoin matched um, on this new currency. So, so I think that's one of the reasons these charts are so chaotic is because we're literally creating energy that does not exist yet. And whenever you do something like that, it has to come from somewhere. So, you know, it's it's just materializing in front of our eyes and a lot of emotion, a lot of chaos, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear, all of those human, you know, elements we're throwing in the mix as well as a result. That being said, you know, this is this is that's pretty much all I had. I wanted to keep it simple, um, try to keep it uh, slightly a um, little bit more advanced. But, you know, Bitcoin, again, this is a, a complicated, complicated time. But you can see the chart show you clear as day. Uh, we looking north of uh, forty three hundred dollars right around September 12th. Um, you know, so that that's probably going to be a lot hinged upon how many people keep Bitcoin Cash, how many people sell it, how many people buy it back. You know, all that game theory uh, jargon. That's that's what's more or less going to cause this big spike right here. And that's what also more or less. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's going to cause it, because if everybody is selling Bitcoin Cash August 1st and they're doubling up their Bitcoin then we have no choice but to increase the price dramatically. And if everybody's selling, you know, Bitcoin just because they're scared before August 1st, then we'll probably end up down here somewhere. So it's literally up to you guys. It's not up to me. I just read whatever the charts are saying. But by August 1st, I will know uh, which one we're at. And both signs will lead us up there. And so if this is your first time, I know Bitcoin Cash is a uh, very confusing somewhat. I had the opportunity to go to a uh, Atlanta Bitcoin meetup yesterday. It was really cool. A lot of knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable guys. I learned a lot. So I will be posting a video uh, tomorrow 
explain Bitcoin Cash and also um, how everything is coming together. I just wanted to give another day or two just to get as much information as I could to be helpful. I didn't want to just throw something out there and have it not be accurate. Um, so I wanted to give you guys some time, uh, you know, to react to it and and prepare yourselves accordingly. And also, I wanted to give myself some time to get the most accurate, up to date information. Bam, and that's it. You know, and so uh, I invite you to our community. We have the number one Bitcoin group in the world. We have 5,000 members around the clock every day. We have my man 77 South Dave hustling. This is the number one Bitcoin group in the world, guys. We are on these charts seven days a week, 24 hours a day. If you haven't joined, I suggest you do. The doors are always open and we are always looking to make some money. Um, and again, if, if you appreciate this type of content, if you know, if you, you appreciate somebody actually taking, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and walking you through Bitcoin step by step by step. Um, trust me, it's going to be a day where a lot of big time companies pay for this information, but you are getting it for free right now. So if you appreciate that, do me a favor. Just hit that thumbs up button, you know, subscribe, turn your notification zones. What that does, you know, it tells YouTube that this was solid solid content uh it helps push us up in the algorithm against other videos and it helps our community grow and uh the more people we have the more support we have the more knowledge we have the more money we make keep it in the family every day is thanksgiving because everybody eats with that being said, I wanted to shout my people out. If you're in the chat right now, do me a favor, shout your country out. You know, we 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 start every video with somebody getting paid, you know, and we end out end every call, you know, with our shout outs and, and just holding it down for the motherland. You know, wherever you're from, you know, just let these people know because we got a global community. You know, one of the things uh, I wanted to throw up here real quick. Um, I saw it, saw it on my screen earlier. Let's see if it gets it. I don't know if it would. No, it won't. Cause uh, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, is it still there? Yeah, it is. You know, one of the things I wanted to say is uh, we global. We global. You know, Khaled would be proud. You know what I'm saying, DJ Khaled. You know, I know you're on Snapchat right now, but your boy is the boss on YouTube. So if you want a one on one Bitcoin, you know, I show you how to trade like a boss. Come holla at me. You know what I'm saying? I do these YouTube videos. I could I could do a note one on one with the Skype with it with the Snapchat group, too. You know what I'm saying? Because we global. With that being said, let's see what countries we got checking in today, breaking the matrix, holding it down, staying warm out there in Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? John Paul rocking Australia. You know what I'm saying? From Australia. I see you out there, Australia, Cambodia, Big Carl. What's going on, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you, fam. Um, down under Vancouver, Australia, Austria, Australia, Colorado, Utah. You know, OH10, baby, big time holding it down for the Ohio players. I see you. USA to the Philippines, Australia. Got a lot of people in Australia right now. Vancouver. Um, let's see. What's up, top? What's up, top? What's up, top? People talking about Litecoin. Um, yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk about Litecoin tomorrow. Let's see what we got. Brazil, Poland, Canada, Decatur, Georgia. You know, uh, down under Ireland, Cali, Australia, four times on Australia, Canada, Rhode Island, UK, Miami, Louisiana, North Korea. That's my first North Korea. What's up, Big Mark out there in North Korea? Mexico City, um, Florida, San Diego, London, and Jupiter. Right. We out of this world. So with that being said, you know, if you appreciate this kind of content, uh, your boy is right now in Atlanta, Georgia. So wherever you are in the world, just hit that thumbs up button. You see, we have a global community. Everybody is positive. Everybody supports each other. And every day somebody is getting paid on this channel. You know, with that being said. I invite you to this Facebook group. It is a very powerful and empowering community. Um, you know, we look forward to having you. The doors are always open. Come check us out. Subscribe. Your boy do videos six, seven days a week. Like I said, on this Facebook group, we hitting the charts 24 hours a day. Um, that being said, it's that time of the day, no matter where you stay, from Brazil to the Bay in California, all the way out to Germany. Good night. Good morning. And good day. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Until we meet again, stay cryptic, y'all.
Peace.